Hi. Such a strange thing to be making a video for you parents, but um, I was talking to my daughter yesterday and she said, just make a video and send it to the parents and tell them to watch it before they do the Sunday school lesson. So this is what this is. Um, I wanted to talk to you before you did the family Sunday school lesson because I just wanted to give you a heads up on kind of how I tried to um, give the opportunity for family discussions if you haven't already been having them, which you probably have, but anyway. Um, I make this video and there are kids from three years old um, and up to adults that watch it. And to talk about um, equality and race and protests and rioting and looting and change and our country and just all of the things that we are hoping we can make change. It's an opportunity. But to talk to a three-year-old about that and to talk to a fourth or fifth grader or a high schooler or two adults sitting in their house that are hoping looking for a special message on Sunday. I, you can't have that same conversation. And so what I tried to do is take our Bible lesson, which is Peter and, and Jesus fishing and following, and I tried to make some open-ended questions for your kids and your family to, to talk about. And it's going to be up to you as the parents or the caregivers to lead those discussions towards what is going on in our world right now. Because I did not address it. Because I, the, I, I, I can't address the whole audience that I have. <laughs> audience, that's, that's funny. But anyway, you know what I mean. I can't get the right conversation for each child that might be listening out there. And so I left open-ended questions that you can use to start discussions in your family. So if your child is older and ready to talk about some of those systemic, systemic injustices that are happening, then talk about those and talk about ways that you can make a change. If your child is not, if your child's three years old, you are not ready for those discussions. You're ready for different discussions on race and friendships and caring and love and equality. So it's the... The Sunday school lesson is set up. It's set up for you to talk about it. But at the same time, you could completely ignore the fact that any of this is happening in our world because they are, I did not specifically address it in my lesson. Um, and I just want to say, I don't think it's something that you need to ignore. I think it is something that we need to talk about. As parents, there are so many things that come up as our kids grow and change that we're like, if I can just ignore this for a couple more weeks, it's going to be gone. You know, uh, one of my daughters wanted to be a dog when she grew up. So she spent a long time barking and crawling around. There's no way she's going to grow up to become a dog. So I didn't really have to address that. I could ignore it and knowing it's going to go away. However, um, when you see signs in your kids of, um, in far, as far as their character goes, if you see your child is becoming greedy or materialistic, if you see that they're bullying, if you see that they're so timid that they get bullied, those are things that you can't ignore in your child. And you have to address those issues. And you have to help them grow their character to become um, a more successful, I guess is the only word I can think of. It's not really successful, but just to, to, to be stronger, maybe is the word. I know when I was growing up, I was so shy that in kindergarten, I didn't speak a word, not one word, not even my name until after Christmas. And from that point on, I was the shy kid and it was hard to talk in school. Um, I never raised my hand because I didn't want to be called on. I didn't want attention um, until I grew up a little, you know, and got and, and worked through some of that. But even today, I can, I can still feel that shyness in me. And 
So when I was a mom, I was like, I don't want my kids to be shy. I'm going to make sure that they don't have that from day one. So from when they were little, they, I, they were talking to people. They were asking adults questions. They were asking older kids questions. They were just, I made them do it. I made them do it because I saw that they might not do it on their own. And so there are things that we as parents can't ignore, whether it's uh, shyness or greed or race and our beliefs and our feelings about race. There's just too many opportunities to say, it's not my problem. And um, it is our problem. It, it's definitely our problem. And as the church, it is our call to, to, to um, spread the word that God created us all in his image. And we are all equal and we all matter. And if, if, if we don't address it with our children, it's, it's not something that's just going to go away. Um, if we ignore it, it won't go away. Like a little girl who wants to be a dog when she grows up, it will only cause the, the problem to continue. And so that's why this Sunday, the, I just, I really wanted to address it and talk about it because I just, my heart hurts and, um, but I, I just couldn't because there's just no way to meet all the needs of all the kids and, and not overstep as a children's ministry leader in the parent role. So that's what this video is about. Hopefully I didn't ramble too long. Um, as you watch the video with your kids this weekend, talk about what you're ready to talk about. Talk about what your kids' feelings are. Ask them questions and see what their answers are. Even questions you think you know the answer to about race and your kids, ask them because they may have some feelings or some thoughts brewing that you don't even know about. Um, so just take this opportunity this weekend as, as we talk in the story about following Jesus and that some things are easy to do when you follow Jesus and some things are hard to do as you follow Jesus. And we know we have Jesus with us when we're following him. We're right there and he will help us and he will help you with these discussions that you have with your family. So I hope you take the opportunity I think as you listen to the lesson, you'll go, oh, this is one of those questions Martha was talking about. So um, enjoy it though. Make it a good discussion. Don't make it hard or horrible. <laughs> Have fun and talk and share and be open and honest. And that's where you will grow. All right, so I'm gonna have a prayer for you and all your families, and then I'll quit bothering you. Oh, dear God, thank you for these wonderful families. Um, thank you for the opportunity that they have had together over the past several months to talk about you and talk about Jesus and talk about having the Holy Spirit inside their families to help them grow and spread the love and the joy and the peace and the hope that there is only found in you. And uh, I just pray that this weekend as they talk with their children or their grandchildren or whatever children it is they have in their lives that they can have wonderful discussions and know that you are there with them. And um, just I just pray in Jesus' name that this is gonna be a wonderful blessing. And uh, amen. All right, you guys, enjoy it. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help and know that um, I love you guys. I'm proud of all that you've done with your kids. And I'll see you soon. Bye.